G'day and welcome back. Today's request was to illustrate guided munitions in sim mode. A pretty simple task requiring only a few extra keybinds and a little bit of skill multitasking. The benefits of guided munitions over conventional in sim are immense with only a little extra planning and concentration required. These weapons greatly decrease the risk of damage from ground fire and increase precision dramatically. Today I have the GBU-8 and the AGM-62 Walleye fitted. Both of these are able to hit moving targets using TV guidance and a contrast seeker to identify and track targets. Terrain and obstacles can interfere with guidance, especially in a glide attack. The higher the contrast between the target and the background, the better, meaning that small boats and warships are the easiest targets to find and hit. If given enough altitude and speed, they can reach a considerable distance. Near pinpoint accuracy can be achieved in a dive attack, though this leaves very little room for pilot error. Optimal launch parameters for a glide attack are as follows. Maintain an altitude higher than 6,000 feet or 2 kilometers and a speed faster than 450 knots. A higher altitude and speed can increase potential range but makes targeting much harder. Switch to target camera at roughly 10 miles or 18 kilometers. Staying level, use your mouse to find the targets and designate with appropriate hotkey. My guided weapons are bound to my flight stick and throttle. Once released, the camera will revert to the cockpit. Repeat this process as long as you are able to find targets or you are too close to the target area. I find to have more success when firing with a slight descent profile. Since they are fire and forget, feel free to spam them into as many ground targets as you can. Tankers will love you. If you have trouble maintaining level flight, try turning autopilot while targeting on, which can be found in the controls settings. You can also bind an extra hotkey to designate a target point without having to use the target camera. This is the method pilots should use in a dive attack to avoid losing situational awareness. It also offers great results in ground RB. Some aircraft such as the A7E can also fit a targeting pod, which allows pilots to designate targets consecutively and fire much faster. With the right launch profile, you should be able to hit multiple static targets with ease. When targeting large warships broadside, the munitions tend to target the stacks and mast, causing minimal damage. To avoid this, always approach from ahead or astern, or alternatively, from directly above. I filmed this using the test flight menu, which is a handy little feature which I have used for years. You can set up pretty much any imaginable combat scenario and it's great for training with these sorts of weapons without the pressure of entering a real battle. When these bombs hit, I'll show you how it's done. So you come to the test flight menu and hit mission editor. Come up to the scenario and try and find artillery ground attack mission. If you're in a water area, it'll be ships to attack. If you change the front line to a land area, it'll be artillery and tanks. I hope you found this useful. Until next time, Commander Tyrael, out.